morning, class. Today we're going to learn the McDonald's menu song and give a listener out there a chance to win a million dollars. So, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Dad, McDonald's, I want to treat you today. Yeah. A Big Mac with bacon. Just come out, honestly, it's beautiful, you'll love it. Okay, fair enough. I don't have Jamie Redknapp, Casey Neistat, or any of these people with me today. I uh, may have done a little bit of editing on that one. What I wanted to talk about this week was how McDonald's and Burger King have been absolutely crushing it on social media and from a marketing perspective in the last two or three weeks. They are everywhere, across physical marketing, across social, and the thing that I really, really want to talk about is actually how simple a process they've gone through to get everywhere. Fair enough, some things are probably quite big budget. I mean, resurrecting Andy Warhol from the dead could not have been cheap. Whacking Harry Redknapp in a Range Rover, also probably not that cheap. One with bacon and one without. However, the ideas behind getting people to engage and talk about those two brands has been really, really clever. The Big Mac with or without bacon. Is it still a Big Mac? No, it's not a Big Mac. What's really clever with that particular campaign is its ability to grab people and make them involved in that campaign. Getting people talking, and that is the possibly one of the cheapest and most effective forms of marketing that you can get getting people to engage with something and run with it. But then you've got this other side of it. Burger King have been really, really smart. For example, if you haven't seen it, you've got it. In fact, do you know what? If you haven't seen it, look at this. Yes, no, no. No, no. McDonald's recently lost their EU trademark on the Big Mac. Burger King basically trolled them. It's amazing. But this gets people snapping, laughing, talking about it. The team at Burger King basically just went onto Twitter, went into a load of influencers, went back in their Twitter timeline by eight years and just started liking tweets from pretty much a decade ago. Burger King went through my old, Burger King went through my old tweets and they liked three of my tweets from 2010. The influencers started asking the question, well, why the hell have Burger King started doing these things and started talking about them. So I screen captured it and I tweeted, why is Burger King liking my eight year old tweets? That tweet was liked by 13,600 people. That is a huge bit of publicity that Burger King got out of one of the most prominent YouTubers on the planet, all started by just liking stuff. Really, really simple, but creative. Really, really creative way of grabbing people's attention and then beaming a brand or a message or a service across the world. If there is one lesson that we can learn from this, or one lesson that this reinforces, be honest, be creative, and be brave. You've just got to do something that little bit different, but different lives in all of us. It's up there. It's when you look at what other people are doing and trying to follow those trends, that's where you start to get mixed up, where you start to trip up. I think the guys behind this are absolute genius. So take the time to watch what they've been up to. I'll show, I'll share all the links and everything like that. There is nothing wrong with going against the grain and being the first one to do something very different. There's loads of pictures of Big Macs going out of people that have ordered it with a, with bacon and there's no bacon in it when they get home like after a drive <laughs> I mean this is a hilarious tweet. Still a Big Mac, not a Big Mac, who gives a f <laughs>